Okay, I've got five of these left. This is uh, this is the yellow air valve I was talking about. It's got a little piece of plastic here with a pin going through it. This is threaded in. It's got a cap in there. It's threaded in. There's an intake air hole right here. When you push this lever down, it opens up this hole so air can get in and you can suck vape out. When you let go, it closes off this and the valve so water can't get in. And you, you can't vape on it then. You have to push that lever to let the air flow. It's just got a regular cap that just slips on the bottom. It'll come with a mouthpiece that slips on. Here, this is a, a blue, a my blue. So this mouthpiece, hollow, slips on to the end, slip it on to a MyJet or this my blue. I like it better because it uh, doesn't leak juice in here. Okay, that fits into inside there. There's a hole down in there, black uh, fixture in there that this threads into. Push that up into that hole. Okay. Put the cap back on. But when you, before you push the cap on, open the push this, push this lever open to let the air flow because you're going to be pressurizing that otherwise. Okay, and then you can release that. Now it's ready. Now it'll float water. Water can't get in. You can't vape on it until you push this little lever. You push that lever. It opens up the air hole right in here, like I was telling you, so you can bait. Then release it. Now it's waterproof. You can't vape on it or anything. Water can't get in. It floats on the surface of water. You want to vape? Push the button. Take a hit. I do it with my thumb. I've got five of these. For 35 bucks, I'll send you one. Otherwise, you can try to figure out how to make it. This is polycarbonate tube, one inch diameter. It's got a cap in there cut out of clear plastic, polycarbonate, glued in, drilled through. And then I put this black fixture in there, or screwed the air valve into it. But, uh, yeah. We're out.